Hi, my name is Simon and I'm a user experience specialist at Western Power. That means I've worked with websites and analytics, so of course, computers. At Western Power, we get computers to do all sorts of tasks that we need them to do. It's all part of our business of moving electricity around so everybody has it whenever they need it. Those computers might be very large. Often they look like you expect, or they might be very small like this one, and they might be inside another device, like a computer inside a phone that makes it a smartphone. They all undertake coded instructions, they have way to input signals and output. We can talk to it in some way and it can respond back in some way. This all works with small amounts of electricity and bits called transistors being either on or off. And it's called electronics. In circuit breakers, you're going to be using micro bits, which are mini computers similar to what might be used inside of devices, like a washing machine. Let's look at how to give instructions to this mini computer. It's very straightforward. You write code using this simple language, and then you download it, drag it onto the micro bit, if you have a phone, you can Bluetooth it over too. You attach inputs and outputs through these holes, which are called pins. Might seem confusing, but it's really talking about these little strips here. And there's actually 25 of them. You'll probably just be using the big labelled ones that have holes. Then you can use the buttons to do things. There's a display on it, it has an inbuilt sensor, so it can tell when it's moving. So you can shake it to give it instructions. It's really fun, and you can decide what to do. Cool, huh? So a tiny computer like this will often get used in what's called an embedded computer, that it's tucked into something like a street light, and then it controls the thing in some way. In the case of a street light, it might detect when it's dark and turn the light on when it's needed and turn it off when it's not. So you see, these embedded controllers or microcomputers, or whatever you want to call them, are all over the place running things, and they're gonna take over. So you best learn how to use one now.